My name is Brian Hughes, and this is the reciprocating water displacement gravity engine. What this is, is a water powered machine capable of producing large amounts of torque, very little energy. Right now I have two trolley motors that are on 50% of the time powering this machine. So each trolley motor turns on, then turns off. One turns on, one turns off. They both turn on and off. Using this light switch right here for this motor. As the tank level drops, it'll turn the switch off and turn the motor off. This up and down rotational energy generated by ratchets on both sides of the machine will produce rotating energy. As you see, we have a large truck wheel ground in bicycle teeth. 120 bicycle teeth I hand ground into this wheel. And it goes down into the bilge and what have we here? This is my prop shaft. So with this trolling motor inside this boat, I managed to create a stream of water to power my machine. This is a 28 foot boat. Right now I have it going pretty slow. These this custom made prop here is going to spin this about 60 RPM I imagine. Maybe one sec every other, oh 50 to 60. I can speed this up. I only got the trolling motors on. Uh, they're not on fast speed right now but uh, they will be. When I do my speed run, this was a twin, a twin screw, 28 foot, 1956, Chris Craft. Flybridge Cruiser. It's on a trailer in my driveway since I don't have my own stream in my yard. This boat makes possible way, this engine makes possible wave powered boats. See if waves were lifting these floats up and down instead of this trolling motor, being these tanks would be open to the sea below the ship would bob up and down, the, the floats would go up and down, produce rotational energy to drive the ship. The reason I couldn't do it on this boat is the water line. There's, it only pulls like a foot and a half of water, as you can see. It's a pretty light boat. And with this custom made prop of mine. I hope to move this along at a very slow speed. But uh, I'm predicting uh, when I turn the trolling motors up, I'll show you what happens here. <sighs> Reciprocating wire displacement gravity engine. Number two. My first one was made out of five gallon buckets. Okay, I'm gonna turn the speed up on this trolling motor notch. Yeah. Uh oh, you can hear it now. That's almost perfect. 
is how fast it would run if it was just gravity fed, like by a river. Or, uh, or a stream. This is an incredibly powered motor, powerful motor. These are only 150 pound floats. But this uh, wheel is like a winch and it's not gonna, it's not gonna stop. It'll break sticks. It'll, it'll, it'll crush things. It's like a water powered winch in a way, but uh, better. I'm using an eight to one speed increase. Uh, got about 120 teeth on the flywheel here and 14 teeth on the prop shaft. The beauty of this is that freewheel is insane. It'll freewheel because that's on a freewheel. But there's plenty of torque here to move this, move this prop. See. I could probably uh, let me see. This boat's gonna move. And that's uh all I expect it to do is one to two mile an hour, whatever that, uh, whatever a trolling motor in there would actually push the boat. So, the name, boat's name is Isabella. My name is Brian Hughes. We will set sail this weekend. This boat will change the world, this gravity engine is the ultimate efficient motor. Efficiencies are incredible as far as power. I'm only using like 500 watts right now to move this thing. 500 watts, maybe six. I don't know, I'd have to take amp meetings on these motors. The 40 pound thrust motors. This whole boat's shaking. Patent pending. This is my bow thruster. I put a bow thruster in it because I'll be going so slow that I want to be able to navigate. <clears throat> With a larger motor, eight cylinders, heavier floats. The sky's the limit. We're talking thousands, tens of thousands. 50,000 foot-pounds of torque. However big you want to build the motor, you'll have the power to spin as big a prop as you want. And so we will move through the water. Once the boat's out in the water, wave action could power it. Not this boat, but uh, for reasons I stated. But uh, this is it. Baby.